Tell me up another one. Thank you. Thanks. Doors ready? Um, and then just quick level, this person asked for audio, please. Person asked Can we get uh, it? David Hutchinson. She's there, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, thanks for coming. Anyway, we've got a couple of, couple of public appeals we would love to make. Uh, at this point in time, we have a, a 24-year-old female um, and a 33-year-old male uh, missing, and uh, we would like to put out a public appeal to locate them. Now, what we do know at this point is that um, on Tuesday, around about lunchtime, the male and the female both went um, bushwalking. They went into the area at the end of Austinville Road at Austinville. This is around about lunchtime on Tuesday. Now at um, about quarter past 11 on Thursday we received a telephone call from the male who had made his way out of the bush and uh, he contacted the police in relation to the female who was still in the bush. Um, we we're currently um, making efforts to locate the, uh, the female. There's a search and rescue operation at the moment in that area to try to locate the female. But we're also uh, making inquiries to locate the male as well. The male, had, the male did speak to the police afterwards, um, but uh, we need to speak to him again. And uh, we would ask the for, for that person to come forward, the male to come forward and speak to the police again. But we'd also, also ask for anybody who has any information in relation to the, the male or the female, or, or for that matter, the female may have made her way out of the bush, and if that's the case, we need her to come forward also. Is it for his sake and well worth speaking to the police? Yes, he did, yes. Yeah, he seemed okay at the time that he was speaking to the police, yes. Why offer any explanation as to what had happened? Uh, just the fact that they'd gone bushwalking and had got lost in the bush, um, and that he had subsequently left her at a certain location, which he referred to as the rapids, uh, because she was uh, excessively tired and couldn't continue. And that he'd made his way out of the bush uh, subsequently. How long had they been in the bush? Well, he, um, the information we have from him initially is that they went into the bush around about lunchtime on Tuesday, and then he made the telephone call to the police at quarter past 11 on Thursday. Had they intended on being in the bush for that long? Did he say, like, camping? No, no. Or? no, no, they got lost. Yeah, they were just bushwalking. Is there anything to suggest he may have harmed her? Uh, well, we don't know that, of course. Um, the, uh, we need to speak to him again. Uh, he spoke to the police initially, but um, as I say, he, uh, we don't know his whereabouts at the moment, so we're appealing for him to come forward again. And uh, well, for anybody who knows the whereabouts of either him or her to come forward. Okay, you uh, well, we, we can't really speculate and say that. Um, all we can say is at the moment we're having trouble contacting him. <laughs> Were they in a relationship? Is it a... Uh, that's again is something we're not entirely sure about because again we need to speak to him to actually clarify the issues. Um, he has a resident. Uh, he he was resident at Pimpermar, but uh, the girl comes from uh, Cleveland. So it's not that it's Pimpermar home. No. Uh, we've got a, quite a number of um, SES out there at the moment um, in the area. Um, with our search and rescue police, we have police on motorcycles, we've got the helicopter helping out in relation to that aspect of things, and uh, and then we have a number of other police they're just trying to locate the, the male as well. Any other concerns from the female? Uh, no, he didn't indicate at that stage that there was any, uh, any injuries, but uh, she is dressed very lightly, she had no food or water, and, uh, and possibly didn't have any shoes as well. So. Is this place the rapid somewhere you guys are familiar with, or was that easy to um, I know the search and rescue people at the moment are, are talking with the national parks uh, to try to identify some of these areas, but this is specifically why we need to speak to this gentleman again, so that we can try and narrow down the exact location, because as you can appreciate, there's, there's a lot of bush out there. How did he contact the police? Triple O. By mobile phone? Yes. Is he going mobile phone? Well, a mobile phone, yes. And police tried contacting that. Yes, them. yes. We obviously we tried the obvious, and, uh, and we haven't been able to locate them at this point. So what was? I mean, how did you? You were there for two nights, I presume. Which you then on Wednesday night. I mean, how did you 
Survive those two well, we haven't had the opportunity of speaking to him properly at this point. This, again, we, we need, we're need we appealing to him to come come back to us because we need to uh, verify an awful lot of uh, detail. Yes. 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 It's concerning behaviour, isn't it, to call Triple O, disappear, not be part of the search, not help in any way. Do you think anything could have happened to him as well? Well, as I say, um, we, we just don't know at this stage. We have concerns for her safety, um, but... Um, we also have concerns for his safety, for that matter, because we, we don't know what the background of this is. We don't know exactly what's occurred, and uh, we can't find either of them. So uh, we're appealing for both of them to come forward. If she's made her way out of the bush, we, we want her to come forward. Um, we want him to contact the police again. Or uh, alternatively, if there's anybody out there who has information about their whereabouts, we would ask them to come forward also. Has anyone else reported a 24-year-old female missing? Um, is there anyone... Apart from him, who's nominated terrorism, oh, well, well, obviously, since this occurred, we've spoken to the family, mm -hmm. and uh, the family obviously share our concerns as well. Can you shed any of it? Is she one of how many? Or uh, no, I'm not sure. Is she a mother? I know she has a sister. She has a sister. Yeah. She's not got any children or anything? Not that I'm aware of. You were saying you have a few images there. Are you exactly in relation to it? Yes, I was just going to get onto the vehicles. Uh, I'll, I'll also provide you with a, a couple of photographs of vehicles. Uh, one of them is a, a black Lexus. Now, we have been able to determine that the black Lexus was parked at the very end of Austinville Road in the vicinity where they went missing. Uh, and we believe the male person has been driving that vehicle. Uh, additionally, we have photographs here of a Ford Falcon sedan, which we believe belong, belongs to a female. Now, that vehicle was located in the Benogan uh, Road area, or in, in the Benogan area. And I can show you a map later as to where this is. Um, so in relation to the vehicles, we, we're asking for assistance from the public to um, locate the, the black Lexus, which I'll show you a photograph. No, no, no. We, we believe the male person has the, uh, the black Lexus. So we're looking for the Black Lexus. But we're also interested in hearing from anybody in that um, Austinville, Benogan, Springbrook Road areas that would have seen either of these vehicles driving around that area between the Tuesday and the Thursday. There was a Black Lexus involved in a drive-off. Is there any connection to this? Is that possibly the car? That's, that's part of our ongoing investigation, yes. Please make Yes. Yes, it's up there now. Yeah. Is it all made known to police? Um, he is known to police too. Yes, he is. Uh, no. Could the family say how well this woman knew the 33-year-old? No. no. Did they, did the family of... Um... She's, the family were aware that uh, she had a boyfriend as such, um, but we are still yet to... Uh, established fully the extent of their relationship. Okay.